All right, Ray. All right, you ready? A lot of people that are neurodivergent have been over therapized. This is one place they come. They don't have to worry that, you know, they got to do it this way or that way. It's a release. It's a physical, mental, emotional release. They're dealing with a society that isn't necessarily geared for that. So I call it an evolution revolution. Gleason's in Brooklyn, New York is the oldest active boxing gym in the country. It's been a training temple for generations of prize fighters, ranging from Jake LaMotta to Mike Tyson and Muhammad Ali. But it's not only the boxing legends that make this place extraordinary. Amy Bridges trains neurodiverse kids. She was inspired by her own son, who's on the autism spectrum. And she created this safe space for kids and their parents to train away from the pressure of a society that doesn't always understand them. Yes. Not fair for your second time ever. Boxing is known as a sport that does not discriminate, and it's beautiful to see that it can build strength and confidence in anybody. We just started, so. How long right. has you been doing this? Oh, like a year. Oh, wow, that's yeah. awesome. We've been, off and on, yeah, we've been here a long time. Okay. Ollie, you want to say hi to Raymo? Hi. Okay, uh, Ray, you don't have to, you don't have to touch are people. Are you funny? Are you funny? It's a stitch. Are you funny, Ollie? Stop it. No, okay. don't touch. Just say hello. Look, 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 look. It's all right, buddy. Say hello. It's all right, buddy. Uh, I want a snack. I know, I know. Hey, come here. I need to get my stuff. That's the week for us. Yeah. Bye, Oliver. Say bye, Oliver. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye, Oliver. Okay. Of course, there are times when I feel overwhelmed and just tired, you know? So I just try to remind myself that I'm not alone. Come here, honey. You walk. Look at you walk so good. You know when you think something's off, but you're not really sure, and you might be in a little denial? Happy. Happy. He wasn't hitting certain milestones. Right. He wasn't talking, not making eye contact. He was diagnosed with being on the autism spectrum when he was about two and a half years old. Can you help me? Can you help me? No, mommy. Okay, get up. Ugh. You don't punch me, you punch the, look, you punch the, bo the boxing, the boxing bag, look. Go punch the boxing bag. Go punch the boxing bag. Yeah. You should put your gloves on to do it. No. Okay. You don't like to put your gloves. You don't like gloves. When Ray was diagnosed, they said that he was sensory seeking. He liked the sound of your the door you? slam. Do you like this? I think it's so funny. You think it's so funny? He's a very touchy feeling. He tickle? loves mirrors. Yeah. He liked being pushed. It makes him feel good. And it also kind of centers him. And some parents, they don't want their children to be labeled. And I don't see it as that. I see like, label him whatever you want. <laughs> like, I don't care. Call him whatever you want. As long as he gets the resources, the resources that he needs. If that means being in a smaller classroom, that means getting occupational therapy, speech therapy, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> Yeah.
Yeah! The camera gotta see this. It's a great song. All right, ready? Ready. Hey, you're gonna want to catch this. You can uh, say, ah, ah, ah. You can uh, say, ah, ah, ah. You can uh, say, ah, ah, ah. Wow. Yes, I'm on. Um, I'm Oliver Smother. Uh, he's eight years old. Um, he's diagnosed when he's probably four. You know, we have a twin, he's a twin. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's been, it's been an adventure. Good job, buddy. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It was a pleasant show tonight. Yeah. He's got some, some special something that just, he has that connects with people. Um, I think well, his innocent well. sweetness. Um, as well as wear this thing okay, on. Okay, buddy. Has to go stay on your eyes. Push, oh, on my on eyes. It. Yeah, yeah. I think, um, yeah, in his humor. I mean, that's definitely. He makes us laugh all the time. I like wrestling with him. <laughs> I normally the one that wins, even though he goes to boxing. What? I'm the one that wins. Mm -hmm. The reason I even enrolled him looked for it was because he was really good at beating his brother up. Like, like today, someone asked, what, what is autism? Autism is something like when, like, you see like this, I'm explaining a lot, but if Oliver, Oliver wouldn't be explaining that much because he would be like looking around. He's like, like he, he, he like doesn't even know that you're there, like standing there, but he kind of does. Right, buddy, that's such a good way of explaining it. Thanks. Do you explain that to your class? Um, yeah. That's really good, buddy. I'm really proud of you. He knows what he's doing, but he also doesn't know. Yeah. Which I know what I'm doing a lot, and sometimes I don't. Right. So that's something we have in common. It's one thing we have in common. And we also like animals. That's another thing. A South Jersey school district. He's like hitting me. Hey, I'll stop. Ollie, that's not dancing. Hey! Okay. Come on, Cassius. Te quiero mucho, ¿ok? Te quiero mucho. Te quiero mucho. Te quiero mucho más. Te quiero mucho más. Te quiero mucho más. No, 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 no. You know why? Because then they have to clean it. And those guys, they work really hard to clean the glass. So don't put your mouth there. Oh, don't hit yourself. It's okay. You're not in trouble. Just don't do it again. You just need a lot of patience with kids on the spectrum. I think there's like a saying, you know, I'm autistic, be patient. Okay. If he hits himself, it's hard to watch, but also I understand he's just frustrated. It's like you're speaking a different language to him. That's what like autism is like. It's like, okay, well, if you're mad, don't hit yourself. It's like, go hit that boxing bag right there, you know? First time I took him, we walked in, and I swear to you, he just like looked and his like eyes like lit up. And it was almost like finally, like I found a place that is as loud and a lot going on. I don't want to say crazy, but you know, as me. 
You know that feeling where you're like, wow. Two punches on this side. <laughs> it increases focus. It reduces anxiety. Discovering also that they have some physical power. Let's go. me box out there I, what do I think I'm doing it's all broad coming in here years ago you know I actually had some moves <laughs> but right now it's about them we're gonna go some flurries one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. now I'm gonna give the kids a chance to then train me because that shows how much they actually know when they actually get to hold the mitts and train me. So I might try it with Ray Win. I don't know if he's ready yet for that. Do you hold these for me? You hold that for me. All right. I'm going to punch them. Hold them up for me. Hold them up. There you go. One, two. One, two. Yes. Yes. All right. Just this side. You tell me. You're the boss. All right. Woo. To me, it's a whole life because I've lived it. I got it. You're doing it. Great job. You want to try and do it with me again? You think I can do it? No. Oh, you don't think I can do it. That's all right. I implore everyone else out there to listen differently. Don't expect them to be neurotypical. Here's a drill that can teach you what to do when you get knocked out. Right. It's called fall. What are you doing, dude? Today. So they're 3D glasses that you get from a movie. S insistent on wearing them lately. Thank the fact that he goes there, he's hi Amy, hi this, hi that. I think it's helped him socially. Head forward, back, yes, but do it nice, yeah, nice and straight. Yes, you're doing it. Good job. allow him he often wore a lot of costumes going there it allowed him to express him because he can't really communicate as much as he would like to that's his way you got it got it okay. whatever isolation people think someone is that's neurodivergent is experiencing don't assume that they get it as fast as any other kid that I've ever trained. They get it. <laughs> it comes with a soundtrack. <laughs> yes! Woo! All right, Savannah! All right. What are we choosing? Nice job saying please. Take your money back. Wow, money! Say thank you. Focusing on the good wherever you can. Keep being you, it's okay. You're allowed to be perfect. Be perfectly imperfect, whatever. And someone that's gonna accept you, that's warm. Keep going where it's warm. Keep finding that. All right, grab your gloves for me, okay? He's a happy, clearly you see how happy he is. It's, you know, I'm thankful I have him, period. I know that we're on the right path. 